Hello everyone, this is What's Up, uh, back again, and uh, this is Driving Dual Transformers 1. Driving Dual Transformers 1, this is based on uh, a thread at overunity.com uh, regarding uh, a, uh, a method of uh, running two transformers, isolated transformers, given by Jack uh, Noskills. Um, these are both transformers, but they're not isolating transformers. I'm waiting for mine to arrive. So while they arrive, uh, I did some uh, testing with these and uh, found a very good effect. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, my mains is this extension here that's plugged into the wall. It comes along here, goes into my variac. The output of the variac comes onto this plug thing and uh, this plug here is the wire that's going to the input of the primary right here my second primary I'm using as the isolated transformer uh, uh, anal analog and uh, this is being connected to the second transformers primary end and here we have the output going to this bulb and I have my voltmeter connected here for the output of the uh, AC and here I have a uh, another pair of clips here going to the uh, going to the input AC this is input amps AC that's voltage this is output, first output, which is AC volts, and this is going to be the amps. This is the second output, which is going to be DC, running this bulb here. And the DC is coming off of the secondary side of each transformer, where I did some connections here that I'll show you in a diagram and here you have the two blue ends coming out going into this bridge rectifier and then the uh, negative is going to one side of the cap here the positive is going to this particular diode let's see if I can get a close up on that number it's a very important number because it's giving me almost uh, 60% more output than all the other diodes that I have on my carousel here and uh, I'll show you the amperage of the DC with this same one when I put it on DC so here this is Jack Noskill's diagram okay and uh, this is a diagram that I just made let me just get it up to full screen I don't know if you can, you're going to be able to see this or not but this is the diagram of all the connections and also I jotted down the outputs very interesting output and uh, the uh, what you're going to see here the, the, the numbers that you're going to see here I'm bringing up the voltage now with the, with the variac I'll bring it up to full so the voltages that you're gonna see here might vary with the numbers on my diagram but they stabilize about around where I, I have them on the diagram after a good 15-20 minutes of running so uh, so we have here we have uh, an AC bulb this is the extent of the DC output now, so we have 122.4 in at 0.24 amps, and we have out AC 58 at 0.5 amps, and we have a 44.1 DC coming out to that bulb, and let me just put this on DC, and I'll show you here. Let me just zero that out. So 
So we have here 0.2 amps. It stabilizes at 0.2 amps. So I got uh, now I got 44 volts. So it's now stabilizing to where it's coming down. But it'll stick. It'll stick around there with the numbers that I'm giving you. Uh, so this is very important here. The DC, the DC uh, that I'm making here on the secondary. Uh, these diodes that I tried one by one, and then this uh, one, this IN five eight one seven here just gave me like sixty percent more. So testing your sus your your um, your devices at an output with a diode, you should be testing more than one type of diode, even at 60 hertz, because uh, we're running here at around 60 hertz. This oscilloscope is connected on one side of the AC output of uh, that's reading 57.9 right now. And uh, funny thing though, when I put this same connector to the other side. Look what happens. These are at 5 volt increments. My real scope probe uh, just blew. Uh, I fizzed it up because I made an AC mistake. <laughs> uh, so this is just showing you here a 5 volt divider. Uh, that uh, This is pretty uh, reactive power that's been RMS'd by the bulb output. And uh, up to 58 volts right now. So, and here we can see we're still at 0.2 amps. Right now we're at 44 volts. So this is it. Uh, I'll post everything and uh, when you see this uh, uh, a diagram at overunita.com, you're going you're gonna to be able to see all the outputs and uh, the wattages and you can do the rest of the math yourself. So, thanks a lot and uh, can't wait till my isolated, my real isolated transformers arrive with uh, two primaries and two secondaries per transformer. So I can try the same situation here with those. So, uh, more soon. Thanks. Goodbye.